Hello guys, uh, this is Enready. I got tagged by Aaron Pin. He did a video yesterday called uh, 10 Year TV Tag. And basically the scenario is you're on a deserted island paradise and you can only bring 11 TV show box sets with you. Uh, at first when I heard what it was going to be, I was kind of worried. I didn't think I had um, enough uh, TV show box sets to actually do this. But I went down into my basement and I discovered that I did. And I also discovered that I need to organize my movies better. So at some point, I'm going to have to go down there and go through all my boxes and uh, start uh, cataloging what's in these boxes, I guess. Alright, so um, I'm going to show you my selection now of uh, box sets. And I've got them in order from 11 to number 1. Alright, so at number 11 we have Lost. This is the first season. This is before it got uh, kind of uh, too convoluted with uh, its storylines and stuff like that. Um, I really used to really love this show. I still have problems with the, the last season and what they did in the last season. But, you know, the first season, still gold in my book. So, at number 11, we have Lost. Alright, at number 10, we have the uh, second season of CSI with the original cast. I can't believe this show was still on the air. I thought it was canceled, um, but it's still going strong. I really like the early episodes. I can't, I'm not sure I'd be able to watch the show now, though, the newer episodes. So, number 10 is CSI. All right, number nine, we have Carnival. This is um, that series that ran back, it was like over 11 years ago now, about, uh, it was like a fantasy series about this traveling carnival. Um, never did get the way. I didn't even see season two of this, but this is the first season, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. I got this from my buddy Ian as a gift uh, a little while ago. At some point, I'll track down the second season. All right, that was number nine, right? Okay, number eight, we have uh, the third season of 24. And the main reason why I picked this one was because this was the first season that introduced the character of Chloe, which ended up being one of my favorite characters in the series. And I'm really looking forward to um, the, the mini-series that's coming out this May. And I think that the show is going to benefit from switching from 24 episodes to 2. I mean 12. That's 2. Um, because sometimes some of the, in some of these series... You know, they'd have like a string of really good episodes and then they'd have a whole bunch of bad ones because they're trying to stretch it out. They hit 24. So, this is number 8. 24 season 3. Alright, at number 7 we have Little Britain. And this is kind of like a, a sketch comedy series from Britain. There's also a Doctor Who connection with this series as Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor, uh, narrates this series. Um, I discovered this um, series originally from the American counterpart, which was, has the same actors in it, called Little Britain, Little Britain USA, which has the characters visiting the U.S. This is a really funny series. Let's just check it out if you get a chance. This one's actually a, a Region 2 uh, release that I found at uh, Cash Converters. Alright. Number 6, we have Dead Like Me. And this is a, uh, a series that ran on Showtime back, uh, I think it was back in 2003. And it only ran for two seasons. Um, it's about this young girl who dies, but she comes back to life as a reaper. And she has to take souls. This movie kind of stole an idea that they used to do in um, Six Feet Under, where they'd show a person and you'd kind of have to guess how they were going to die. Um, this show was a lot of fun. I wish it had ran longer. Mandy Batankin was also in this. Alright, let me go on to the next set of stuff. Alright. Right, at number five, we have the fifth season of Supernatural. And this is my favorite season of, of this series. This uh, The show is still going on now. It's in its um, ninth season. And uh, the CW has no intention of canceling this show so or ending it. So I think it's going to go on beyond ten seasons. And there's a spinoff coming uh, next year as well, I think. Um, this is my favorite season because this is the apocalypse season and it's got some great episodes in there like the one where they're trapped in the TV universe and stuff like that 
It's a lot of good fun with this show. All right. Number four, we have the fifth season of Dexter. Um, a lot of people feel, when it's actually kind of true, the fourth season is actually the best season, but I really enjoyed this season as well, and a lot of people don't like this season. Um, I won't get into how I feel about the last couple of seasons of this share, of series, but um, I still like the show a lot at this point, the fifth season, so I chose this one. All right. That number right? That was number four. Dexter is number four. All right. The Walking Dead, the complete uh, first season. This is um, my pick for number three. I really love this show, and I liked it a lot, uh, especially in the first season. I liked the dynamic in the first season, so I chose that. Plus, I don't only have one yet. I haven't picked those up. Um, great stuff. Great number two, American Horror Story Asylum. Um, I really love this series. I like how they uh, switch it up every season with different characters. Always keeps it fresh. And let's go on to my number one pick. Game of Thrones. This is uh, the complete first season. I really love this series. And I like how it's one of the most dangerous shows on TVs for, uh, in terms of character longevity. longevity. And they'll, they'll kill off pretty much anybody. The star of the show, you know, even... All right, guys, so that's my pick. Um, check out Aaron Pin and what he's been up to. Thanks for watching, guys. I guess I'll talk to you all later.